So, so okay, this might be a hard question, but I'm going to ask it mm-hmm. anyway. Given that you were in a relationship for a very long time, I mean, honestly, Keith, it's like a, it's a little bit like a divorce. I mean, because all of these years in your 20s, you're like, you know, with this other person since you were 19. Mm-hmm. And so now you've decided, okay, you guys have split. I, I mean, what's it like to kind of decide that, okay, I, I, I'm going to, this is the, my next adventure. Like, what does it feel like to walk in your shoes? I mean, I would say it's, it's, it's kind of hard because I don't know, I don't know how to date. Like, like when we got together, it was just like, oh, you like me, I like you. Yeah. Let's get together. I move right in. That was that. That's kind of like my husband and I. Yeah. We're like you're young, you're just like, <laughs> exactly. Ooh, we like each um, other. Let's do this thing. And then yeah. um, now it's different because I got to try to get to know people. And then I'm in a new city. Like before we met, we were from the same city. We were both from West Palm. Okay. So now I'm here in Atlanta with like totally different people. So I got to try to figure out how to navigate through this Atlanta gay dating scene. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then, and then trying to be careful at the same time. Yeah, it's, so. it's definitely, Atlanta is rough. I, um, at some point, I'm hoping to interview my goddaughter who's coming to town and she's coming in November. She visited once and mm-hmm. she's from LA and has decided that she really likes Atlanta and is thinking about moving here. In the dating scene, she's like, dating is so hard in LA. And I'm like, it's kind of hard here, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At least that's what I'm hearing from my clients. And so, I mean, what makes Atlanta such a great town is that there are so many, there are a lot of colleges here. There are a lot of the movie industry mm-hmm. is, I mean, only second to Los Angeles. That we've got the largest gay population in the country. That we've got the most affluent African Americans here. And then there are all these industries like Coke and Delta mm-hmm. and, and Siemens and, you know, Turner. We've got all these big industries, UPS. I mean, they're just Home Depot, so many of them. So many. And so it really does make for this very, very interesting culture. But for some reason, it's really hard to date here. It is. Because I feel like a lot of people, some people like put on. Mm. Yeah, like because I feel like it is like but, LA in a way. I call Atlanta Black Hollywood. Like yeah. you have LA, which is Hollywood. This is Black Hollywood. So I feel like a lot of people like do things. Like everyone's a, a stylist or uh, or I'm an entrepreneur. So like everyone tries to put on, and you don't really get to see like the right. true person. Yeah. So. Um, that's why I say it's, it's kind of hard in a way coming from like someone like West Palm where everyone is pretty much like chill and relax. It's very wealthy though, yeah. West Palm. but, it, but I do know, I do know what you're saying because I'm from Los Angeles. Um, it, 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 I always tell people that Atlanta reminds me of Los Angeles a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Without the ocean, which I miss and without the great weather. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> it's too humid here. And then, like, I would say people are a little bit more nicer here than, like, L.A. Like, they're you think more, they're, like... You're, like, think they're nicer here than L.A.? Yeah, I feel like they're a little more, like... Really? I want to say nicer. I want to say more you know, welcoming. Welcoming. Really? So, you guys, my whole my whole California... More is southern. Like a... More southern and homely and really? stuff. But they still, they still stuck up, though. They still stuck it's, up though. It's so much artifice. It's like bless your heart, and they don't mean a thing by it. It's exactly. Like, no, uh, it's like it is. I I went home recently in May, and I was like, I forgot one how good the food is in California, mm-hmm. and how friendly everybody is in California. I find people friendlier <laughs> in Los Angeles than I do, and maybe it's because I'm a Californian, and mm. I just. It just felt so good to be mm. there. I love, I mean, Atlanta is home for me. It's not, I don't plan on leaving Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Atlanta is home. It's just that um, I see the contrast. But then my goddaughter is saying, wow, everybody's so great 
you know, in Atlanta. So mm -hmm. I don't know. It depends on your point of view. I've lived here 21, 21 years. Oh my gosh. That's a long time. It's, um, it feels like home for me. And yet sometimes I long for the beach. I long for, um, like uncomplicated. It, I think it's much more status conscious here it than is. it is in Los Angeles. Like, for example, somebody who's a multimillionaire could drive a Prius mm -hmm. in Los Angeles and you wouldn't know. It is really hard to tell who has money and who doesn't. Whereas here, it's very obvious. It is very. Yeah, so that's, it, that's where home is a little different. And, you, and most people are approachable in here in Atlanta, but I also think that they're very approachable in Los Angeles mm -hmm. too, but, but Los Angeles can be very superficial because of the, um, the movie industry. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think that it's here too. It, it can feel very superficial. It can, it can, but I feel like they're a little more. You think less? Less okay. superficial, okay. a little more homely. Um, like, yeah, more homely because, you know, everyone's real Southern and they want to give you that Southern hospitality. And I haven't felt that in Palm Beach until. Yeah, Southern um, hospitality. I didn't mean it. I haven't met, seen it until I moved here. You need to drive on the freeway a lot because <laughs> you will never see Southern hospitality in Atlanta. Yeah. It is, I mean, it's some of the worst. Yeah. Like, I actually think people are kinder in Los Angeles on the freeway. Like, this, <laughs> yeah. it's mean here. Yeah, driving is totally different. But, like, in person, like, if I go to, like, a store or something, they're yeah. very nice and Southern and welcoming. Yeah, that's true. That's stuff. true. More so, like, stuff I like that. I see what you're saying. If you walk in a store, yeah, that is true. Yeah, like, people, you know, give you more compliments on, like, say, for instance, if you're walking down the street and you say, oh, I like your dress or something. Yeah. People will say, oh, thank you. I got it from here. But say, for instance, like, I feel like in like uh, L.A., they'll probably just be like, oh, thank you. No, I, I, I can see what you're saying. Yeah. I, and I lived in New York for Manhattan for three years. And you're never going to go up to somebody in New York and say, hey, I like your outfit. Because they're mm -hmm. going to be like, what do you want? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Here they'll be like, yeah. Here they'll be like, oh, thank you. I actually got it from this store right down the street or something, something then, like that. Then shouldn't dating be easier, Keith? Then if you <laughs> saw a guy out and you said, hey, I really like that jacket, or yes. I mean, to approach someone. Yes and no, because I feel like you're seeing it from. Uh, Heterosexual. No, please. Point school of view. me. School me. The gay scene in Atlanta is totally different. Totally different. It is, I will probably say, more like a LA type of vibe. Uh, like everybody's okay. stuck up and stuff. <laughs> so you got to play your cards right. Like you got to know who to go up to and how to approach people in Atlanta. Because, you know, um, I feel like nowadays, um, straight and hetero and gay, um, people are looking for a handout mm. like um just a, a, or like a come up or something like how can this person benefit me? me yeah so um yeah that i don't i don't is, think that that's just you know and again i i i defer to you mm -hmm. and yet i don't think that that's unique to the gay community mm -hmm. i see that exactly yeah, I but see I feel that like everywhere. It's, yeah, I feel like it's more of this generation. Okay. The more, the generation. Are you a millennial? What? 89. Yeah, you're a millennial. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I try not to. What's what? I don't understand. Why do people. I love millennials. I mean, I don't want to. Be... Like, they're my peeps. I have I more, wanna... <laughs> more millennials yeah. than anything else. Yeah. They understand therapy, mm -hmm. they're ambitious. They want to change the world. Um, if, if anything is at fault with millennials, it's because they had Xer or baby boomer parents. So you could go, mm -hmm. just blame us. I'm an Xer. Mm -hmm. But I, I, know what you're, I know what you're saying. Every, I do notice that my clients want it now. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They want it now. Um, and I feel like sometimes you got to work for it. Mm. 
You got to work for it. That's how you actually know if it's real or not. Um, because if you just go after something and it's too easy, I like a challenge. If something is too easy, I'm going to get bored quick. Mm. So I like a little That's challenge. That's interesting. So do you like the chase? Yeah. Who don't? Yeah. Like, because, like I say, if it's too easy, what am I working towards if it's too easy? That's so interesting. So, so yeah. the chase says that it's worth it. Yes. And then I'm building towards something. Like, um, I'm working towards something. Like, I'm trying to, and I'm getting to know someone at the same time, too. Because if it's too easy, like, I already know you. I already know what you're looking for. I already know what you want. And that's not what I want, so I can move on. It's so interesting, because on one hand, I think when you're saying when you're in a relationship, you want to be comfortable, you want to be seen for yourself, but you're saying that working towards a relationship, finding someone who you feel is worth it, that if it comes too easy, so does that mean you don't kiss on the first date? Or if that person says no, you might be a little intrigued. See, like I say, I've I've been with my guy for like 13 years, so. Oh, I thought it was 16, sorry. I haven't kissed on the first date in a long time, <laughs> so. Um, I would probably say, I probably would kiss on the first date, but maybe. I think most of us would kiss on yeah, the first date. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. to see. Like, but I'm just wondering, cause it's like, it maybe. But I feel like, easy. If I'm like, let's say intimate, I wouldn't, I wouldn't kiss. Cause kissing gets too personal. I gotta really like you to like kiss you on the first date. This sounds like Pretty Woman. Exactly. And that's one of my favorite <laughs> that's movies. One of my favorites that's one of my too. favorite movies. <laughs> so like kissing is so personal. I gotta oh really God. like you or I gotta really think you like sexy to like kiss you on the first date. I hear you. And if I don't kiss you towards, like if we're being intimate, that means then, no, like, this is no. a no-go. This is a yeah, hookup. No. Yeah. It's just a hookup. It's yeah. just a, you know, booty call. And you can leave after that. Don't yeah. contact me afterwards. It's so interesting. It yeah. is. It does remind me of that moment where Richard Gere like, tries to kiss her. And she like, moves away. It's like, mm -hmm. but, and so when she finally does kiss her, we're like, ooh. Yeah. And that's yeah. kind of like why I learned everything yeah. was from Pretty Woman. Like, I love that movie. I that's, love that movie. <laughs> I, that is in my Apple key. I even have The Runaway Bride. I like love it in Notting mm -hmm. Hill. But Pretty Woman is just like, ugh, yeah, I love that yeah. one. I watch it every single year. That's good. It's a good one. It's yeah, a good that and staple. Propo the Proposal. I love the that proposal. one too. The Proposal. Yeah. Yes. We're, you could tell, like we're romantics. I'm guys. a romantic. A, yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, yes. I definitely am. It's, it's interesting because... I'm a pragmatist and it feels like it's incongruent with being mm -hmm. a romantic, but I do believe that two people can get together and there's, there's something magical that can happen mm -hmm. and it, and they only feel it. Exactly. Yeah. That Cause I'm, I'm, yeah. A, I'm a cancer. So I will, I'm like always sensitive and always look for people. I, I, I move more by eat feeling and emotion than using my mind. So like if I'm feeling something or if I'm feeling like a connection, like even like this little conversation with me and you, I'm feeling a connection. Yeah. So like if I'm not feeling that connection, it's not gonna work. And you are using your mind because yeah. your emotions come from your midbrain. Yeah. And when we don't have emotions, we don't know how to feel. Mm -hmm. Um, there's, I always do this. I've mentioned this like three or four times and I never look it up you guys, but there's something, it, it, it's like when a, a part of the brain gets damaged and people don't, part of the midbrain gets damaged and they can't, they don't feel emotions mm -hmm. that those people don't know how to feel about anything. So they don't know if, for instance, if somebody who's bleeding out is as important as a baby crying. Mm -hmm. So our emotions tell us what's important, yeah. what we need to pay attention to. So you are using your mind, your brain, yeah. the whole bit. And so much of what passes between someone that we're attracted to mm -hmm. or that we fall in love with 
it's it's such an emotional experience. It it it, it goes beyond just like okay, we we both have these things in common. It's mm-hmm. something it's not tangible. And it, a lot of people call it chemistry. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't, we almost don't know, we don't know how to create it. it. It's something that kind of happens organically. Organically. Yeah, but it's, mm. it's magical when it does. And so I think that the movies that we're talking about is when that chemistry, mm-hmm. it, it happens and you see it, it's, it's kind of magical.